Hello, this is Let's Play FB Games with episode 14 of WWE Supercard. As you can tell, I don't sound too great because I don't feel too great. I was meant to do this episode yesterday, but I didn't because I just felt utter shite. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to do the 10 matches as usual. Let me just sign in quickly. Is it with Facebook? I can't remember. I guess we'll find out. You guys are going to see my uh, password, but who fucking cares? I'll just change it, so it's all good. Let's continue. Oh, wait, what? No. Then I must have signed in with Google. Oh, no, I did sign in with Google. Man, I'm an idiot. Okay, so I've signed them both. Obviously, let's play three games. Because that's what I've been working on for ages, and I don't intend on giving it up. So sorry about a little signing thing there, guys. Um, I don't know what happened. But here we are with our um, daily bonus, and I got I went on yesterday just to get the login bonus as well, but I didn't record anything because I didn't feel up to it. So what are we looking to do this episode, guys? That's a very good question. So, I left you last time with Kalisto at level 13, which means, most likely, if we have a good run of games today, he'll be proed up in time for the King of Ring, which I'll be starting next episode. I'm just thinking, guys, I'm thinking, what if I start it on this episode? It'll be ready for when uh, we do it. Or maybe I'll start it tomorrow morning, so it's all set up for tomorrow evening. In fact, I might do a couple of episodes tomorrow. So, um, what we're just going to do now is we're going to play this Tommy Boy, first of all. Mid 10 matches, as always. I'm going to try and get Kalisto proed up completely. So here we go, the first match. I'm really sorry about not recording yesterday, guys. I just didn't feel up to it. So, I've done two videos today. I've done Bejeweled. Blitz episode six, and I've also do. I'm also doing this one. I mean, I usually do a few videos a day anyway, but like, yeah, you know. Still feel like total crap, but I've got, I've got a lot of food, and I've got some drink as well, non-alcoholic of course, which sucks, but you know, I guess I'll have to do. So I've got enough. To maybe last me all night. I probably might. I might try and do an all night tonight. Actually, I don't really feel like sleeping. This guy's got an epic Xavier Woods. Are you fucking for real? Why am I? More importantly, why am I coming up against epics? Okay, cool. Why am I coming up against epics? More importantly, I don't quite understand. But okay, tag team speed. Of course we're gonna... Oh, actually we're gonna pick up the win here. I thought we would've lost that. But no, we do pick up the win, actually. I'm one step away from getting that rare Bruno, which I'm not even ever gonna use. So, yeah. Lovely 2-1 victory to open the episode. Two beautiful picks from my man, Kalisto, to gobble up. Unless, of course, it's a super rare, then shit. But, you never know. What are we going to get from our first two picks? Of course, of course we're going to get a fucking, of course we're going to get a rare. No, it's, it's just, of course. No, I don't want to share it on Facebook. I don't want to share that shit card on Facebook. Come on, Eric Rowan. Give me a second here, guys. Should I feed you so? Yes, I will. No question about it. Fuck Jay Uso. Fuck everything he stands for. He's never going to make an appearance. He's always called Dust, but I'm keeping him in case. Might as well give him the other stuff I have. Common. Have I got any uncommons? I've got Cameron uncommon. Oh, shit, yeah. Common, Rowan. I'm just feeding up a little bit more. Have I got anything else to give him? Support, no. Enhancement, no. Combinable, no. Wait, what? Oh no, I don't have any combinable cards to give him. 
Anyway, um, we're almost level 14 now. I'm not keeping Ju, so that was just an insult. I'm not going against that bottom guy despite his shitty record. I'm going to go against Randy Orton, who has got a picture of Randy Orton as his uh, display picture. Oh, it's not like one of these guys who has who's put his name as freaking, I don't know, Mark Henry and has in the take of his picture. I mean, that's not actually a guy that I've encountered before, but it's just an example. So let's see what we can do here. Solo match charisma. Are you fucking serious? Piss off. Piss off. One, one fucking charisma. One charisma point. Oh, you knob. I've lost now, haven't I? No, oh, no, I've won. I've won the. I've won the tag team match at least. He's got fully upgraded Randy Orton. I didn't. I just realised, guys. I didn't change my Kalisto back. <laughs> oh well, it gives him experience. So I'm going to keep him there because he's nearly the same level as the other Kalisto anyway. So I'm just going to keep him in. Although to be honest, his charisma is kind of letting him down a little bit. So I may put a token on his charisma. So I'm not stuff on his charisma. Of course, I'm going to win. Or is it a draw? It looked, to me there guys, it looked like a draw. If you add mine together, it's 301. Okay, if you add his together... Oh, it's 296, no problem. Okay, cool. I thought I'd actually lost that then for a second, but... Nope, I do come out on top, that's good. That guy was pretty good though. If he hadn't used his Charisma Boost and Ambrose, so I would've got a perfect win. Fuck's sake, but can't win them all, even though I won that one. So I don't know why I'm saying that. Two more picks. Common Damien. Oh my god, I can't even speak English. Common Damien Sandow. Uncommon Damien Sandow, actually. I'll finally get there. And Common Sheamus. We're going to play against Cena, who's got Austin as his picture. See, that's what I'm on about. Who does that? It's like having Hogan. Saying your name's like Hogan and having um, freaking Chris Benoit's picture. Maybe a bit extreme examples, but like. I don't know, having, saying Rusev, saying your name's Rusev and having, I don't know, Jack Swagger easy pitch, so that's just an insult to America, really. Um, Brock Lesnar, destroy the shadows thing. Okay. Still, destroy the shadows thing. Thank you. And now, what we do here is, I don't know, toughness and speed. I say we throw out Andre. So if like, oh I should have used fucking, no we lost one in the paper actually. I should have put a speed boost on Andre or something. Oh well, I'll, yeah, I'll lose. One all. Cool. Whoa. Final matchup with his speed. We need the Undertaker because he's just got slightly more speed. And he's going to defeat Ryback. So that's no problem there. That's three wins in a row for me. Thank God. Okay, so we'll get the three count. Let's see what picks we pick up. Just skip this, and we'll pick the top one and the bottom one. Common Biggie, Common Arton, sick. Which coincidentally is what I am. <laughs> no, but we're gonna play against Lam and Lee, who's got Lex Luger as his, rare Lex Luger as his game of picture. And there's gonna be more exhibition matches and until we get Kalisto to pro. So that's what I'm going to do this episode. And don't matter, it doesn't matter what I have to do to do it, but I'm going to do it. That is a definite. So, toughness. Okay. I was a little bit concerned there. Because we are the same level, but... But Lesnar... He's on a different level of his own compared to the niche. Especially... Because it's his toughness, and Brock Lesnar's toughness. 24 difference, yet they're the same level. 
Brock Lesnar's just in a league of his own against The Miz. I'd have a power card. I was about to see his toughness charisma cards. Didn't realise I'd have a power card, and they do. But it doesn't matter because they've got incompatibility. And I don't. That's okay then, we win the match. I think we still have. No, we don't. We use Brock. What am I about? We still have some good cards left to win the match with. So, match charisma. Okay, so we take the lowest stat. We do defeat Lex Luger. Because Lex Luger is not the most charismatic of guys, let's be honest. I mean, his charisma was his second highest stat, I think, but. No, sorry, his third highest stat. Yeah, it's his third highest stat, but he's not really got much charisma. He's not got as much charisma as The Undertaker. Perfect game. Swag. Okay, look, three picks for me. Hell yeah. Okay. So let's see what picks we get in this part of the the episode, I guess. Common charisma. I just picked a random card there and picked a random card there as well. Uncommon Paul Bearer, which I'm never going to use because it only gives three toughness and three charisma. Just shit. So we're going to play against The Rock, who's actually Rosa Mendez, super rare. Oh shit, she's a super rare diva. Please don't give me Divas matches. Not a beg. I beg no Divas matches. Please. But the first one's going to be a Divas match now. Just watch. <laughs> oh no. So much toughness. Okay. Let's throw up Br Brig. Yeah. Okay. You too. Big Brock Lesnar. Although, I could have just thrown up <laughs> Andre. <laughs> or Kalisto. Or Undertaker. But I don't know this shit, do I? I just... I throw out Lesnar because he's the best card, and then I lose a point probably, which is gonna be with Undertaker. Oh, he's only got uncommon Kalisto. Uh huh. He's only got uncommon, and I've got rare for it. Oh, we'll have after this episode, don't we? Good shit. Okay, so he's gonna have a. This is gonna be a Divas match. I'm gonna be absolutely fucked. So it's gonna be a two-one victory. Wait, what? Poor guy, he's worked all those divas and he's gonna lose in a perfect game. That sucks. I was good. I was a little bit scared there. There he is. Charisma just won it for me. Thank God. Rusev doesn't have charisma. What are you on about? I think charisma is his lowest stat anyway. It's another perfect game. Okay. This is this episode's going pretty well. I think that's four wins. I want to say four wins, it could be five, I'm not entirely sure. I'm too tired to really know how many I've won and lost. So I'll just pick the bottom three in the... I'll just pick it... These, these rares are doing fuck all for me. I'm just going to feed them. Whoever's the worst out of King Barrett and Goldust is getting fed to Kalisto at the end of the episode. So I've played five games. I'm going to put it back to the other Kalisto, because his stats are quite a bit better. As you can see, what it, I'll, I'll show you guys what I've done with Kalisto. I put a token on his power and a token on his speed. I'm also just going to quickly put a token on his charisma. Looks so like catches up a little bit. Let's see what else we can do with tokens actually, just quickly. Cameron's not getting any levels, Andre's not Kalisto. This Kalisto is the one I was just on, and uh, Brett Lesnar has got two tokens we can spend. So I'm going to put one on his speed. I'm also going to put one on his charisma. Because I feel like that's the areas he needs improving in. You can't take those tokens off once you use them, that's okay, I don't mind. And then for Brie, we need another level with her before we can upgrade any of her stats. And she's going to be upgraded after Lesnar, so... I think. I can't remember what I said, <laughs> I can't remember what order I said I was going to upgrade. So we're going to play this park here. I kind of put two words together, I said play against, go like play against, and I just put play against that one. But, yeah, you know what I mean. Play against Quarky here, who's got rare Stone Cold Steve Austin's picture, just like most people seem to have on this game. I don't know why. I suppose if I had a rare Stone Cold, he might be my picture as well. But anyway, Brothers and his slightly improved speed and charisma will give him the win over level 14 rare Stone Cold Steve Austin. A dream match that's never actually come to reality. It's a shame, really, but... 
shit happens. Diva Charisma. Oh no, please don't get a Charisma boost. Oh, if I ever had got a Charisma boost, then I would have actually shit bricks. Like, obviously not, but... You know what I mean. I even won against a guy in this episode who had an epic Xavier Woods. So I must be on a win streak or something, because it's now 6-0. And I've got plenty of that, I've got plenty more where that came from. Apparently so does he. Sick. Do I win? Let me, let me calculate. 312. Oh, you fuck, you, you, your dog eats candy. He's got 313. Triple H just wins out. Fucking bullshit. <sighs> Still two picks, so still another win. What would I like to another perfect game? Hate it when it's one point difference, it pisses me off. Anyway, um we'll do a diagonal pattern this time. Just just because it's different. Oh my god, we're getting shit cards for it as well. Four more games to play. We are not playing against Caleb because he's just got an uh, ultra rare ultimate warrior, so no. Zara Lex Yeah, let's go against. Let's go against them, because they've got a rare Brock Lesnar. And I want to prove that I'm the most dominant Brock Lesnar on Supercard today. I'm on the Super Rare Plus tier, anyway. I've got better hair than the rare Brock Lesnar, as you can tell. Alright, so what's the first match? Steve's Tank Team, Toughness, Speed. Probably lost this, but... Oh. If you're going to put two WrestleMania opponents against each other, then do you expect to win, really? As those two former NXT Women's Champions. Silly, silly people. Silly billies. Oh. Okay, easy enough. Uh, solo match power toughness, of course. Actually... I don't know, I'm not risking it with throwing out Brock. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, hey there, man. <laughs> it shut me up. He's not even upgraded, is he? That's embarrassing. I was actually going to use a toughness boost. But I didn't. So much speed charisma. Alright, so you better get your Silly Dough doll. Nope, okay, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I was hoping to get the Silly Dough doll soul boost, but it doesn't matter. Seven wins in a row. Kalisto. He's gonna get proed up after this race. Race? After these games. I don't know if they're race. I think, I think I'm playing GTA. Oh well, GTA will be out tomorrow. Two picks. Let's pick this one. And let's start going diagonal the other way. Going down to the right, obviously. We've got Luke Harper and right back. Bunch of shit. Shitty cards. Francesco! It's your turn to get beaten. And he's got Rare John Cena as his picture, which is admirable, because I don't think I've seen many Rare John Cena's on this game. So much toughness, charisma. Joe, you know we're gonna just OP Lesnar the fuck out. I mean, you have to get Cena, don't you, really? It's, it's John Cena, you know? You can't be taking any risks. I feel like I've fucked up massively by using a toughness and charisma boost, you know? I feel like... I feel like I've lost this match. Well, because I have. Kalista... Power and charisma, right? I'm hoping so. I'd say if it's toughness and speed, I don't mind either. My stats are all better than his. So it's all good. And we get the point, lovely. So Diva Power Speed, Re Bell's gonna lose, who cares, we won the game already. Holy shit, that gives her a lot of speed, that's kinda weird how she gets so much. 195, okay, that's a bit ridiculous. It's a bit ridiculous, really. But we still win the game, so it's alright. 8 and 0 in this episode. Which is very surprising. 
I feel like we're going to lose once in our last two matches. It's not, it's not destined to continue. Of course it isn't. But, um, yeah, we've had a good run. So, pick this one. Common Ambrose. And uh, this one, Common Rowan. And on to the next game. We're not playing against Beast. Actually, we're not going to play against any of them. We're going to check the lad rewards. Alright, cool. What was it we were getting again? Rest, park card, lovely. Okay, let's just pretend we're looking at ladder rewards. Any good opponents now? Triple R looks beatable. So let's play against this guy. I'll go. Who knows? You can call it quadruple R, like Roman Reigns Royal Rumble or something. It's just, pretty much Royal Reigns. Royal, uh, Royal Reigns, yeah. Okay, cool. Me too. Speed Charisma, we're going to lose. I always say that and we win. <laughs> but that's just because Bree's better than Nicky, let's be honest. I mean, Nicky's better in real life, but I meant Bree's card on this game's better. I guess not what I meant. Yeah. Bree Bellar. Oh, do you know I hate this game for many reasons. That's one of them. And the fact is, I'm going to lose a match after this. Well, I'm going to lose the game after this, and I'm going to end up losing the whole match. I can just tell he's got someone better than Lesnar. I'm not too happy about it. Oh, okay, never mind. He's only got Super Rare Bam Bam Bigelow, he's only level 2. I thought he was going to have something like, I don't know, Ultra Rare. Triple H or something, and he'll have like two more speed than me or some shit, even with the speed boost. But we do win nine to nothing in this episode so far, which is lovely. I haven't lost yet. Why haven't I lost yet? Confuses me. And anyway, we're gonna do that, and now what are we gonna do? We're gonna do diamond on the inside, of course. Are you fucking absolutely? Why am I about to curse like that? It's brilliant. That's so much better than the speed on that I get from the ladder. Ten, 15 off the opponent's power. I was about to <laughs> start swearing there, but... Nah. First off, we're going to play again. I really want to play against Asshole, but we're going to play against Tower just to see if we can actually get a 10 nothing in this episode. Da -da 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 Mm, 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 mm. So and charisma, I don't need it. Holy sh Do you know what these days? Wait, do I still win? 401. 396. Okay. I got a little bit jittery there, a little bit I was about to get really annoyed. But it's cool, it's good. It's all it's all fine. It's all water under the bridge. Don't worry. So if I win this point. I've won the whole thing. Go on, Kalisto. You f... Kalisto, you're a little cabbage. You know that? Well, Kalisto's lost the gold dust, so... All comes down to this final point. Soul match toughness. Undertaker, show you stuff. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I was about to have a little... Fucking pussy fit there. I really want the Divas match there, if I'm honest, but we are gonna win again. Why have we got 10 minutes in a row? I'm slightly scared. We only just won a couple of games, including that one, but we won, so it's just still a win. And uh, we won all 10 games this episode, which is surprising. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go for a diagonal strat again. Common Rose. Uncommon Rosa, they used to be together. So what we're going to do is, we've played our games, we're going to go find level, that's not level 13 Kalisto is it? Level 5 Undertaker, I'm never going to use it again, I'm never going to use level 2 Rock either but, still, it's good to have him on there in case of, I don't know. Okay so Big E's combinable but I really d couldn't care less, uncommon, rare, you can tell Kalisto and Bree can be, whatever, uncommon. Normal cards, Sean, oh, Sandow, Harper, Rosa, Bearer. So 
So guys, I'm going to do whatever I can to get Kalista leveled up. And if that means I have to sacrifice a couple of things, then so be it. Because I want Kalista leveled up this episode. All ready for King of the Ring. I'm sorry, but I do. Please. Please. He's going to do it. He's, he's actually going to be level 15. If not, then I've got, I think I've got a couple of enhancement cards. Your dad eats Chinese chicken for breakfast. Alright, so let's just do that. I mean, he's done, isn't he? Yes! So you know what this means, guys? I can finally get that rare pro colour stuff I've been dreaming about for a few episodes. Where is he? My cards. <laughs> oh, you, you... Combine. You're about to combine a rare or better card, are you sure? Yes. Oh, look at that card. Look at that beautiful card. And once he gets level 20, he's going to be... He's going to be brilliant. I mean, we're going to do that in our own time, I think. Someone we'll get some other cards leveled up, but holy mackerel. We've got Pro Kalista, look at that beautiful man. Now let's just try and level him up a little bit more. Do you know what, we might as well just finish off the episode. Level up Kalista a little bit more. Oh, I've got... Do you know... Oh, I had just enough cards to level up Kalista. That makes me pretty happy. That actually makes me pretty happy. I'm glad we had just enough to level up Kalista to his pro area and now he is ready to be leveled up to level 20 and he'll have a massive massive amount of stats that makes sense his stats will be really high though he'll have about 100 added to each of those by the end of his leveling up hopefully all being well but uh, we got rare pro Kalisto and then the next guy we're going to finish off Brock Lesnar we get him up to 15 then Bree is a must and then Andre Pro Andre Super Rare Pro is going to be epic as well. It's going to be a lot better than Kalista Rare Pro, of course, but it's going to take a bit more time. But anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed episode 14 of Supercard, and I'll see you guys next time for this beauty. Right, so I'm going to quickly... Do I need to make any edits? I don't think I do, actually. I think everything looks, everything looks good. Everything actually... We'll sort this out for the ladder, of course. That's not even the ladder, it's a table. But anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed. This is a real outro now. And I'll see you next time for episode 15, where we start another King of the Ring. But for now, bye-bye.